What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be trying new fall fast food menu items. If you guys are new here, once a month I go to different fast food places and we try all the new fast food menu items. Well, you guys have been tagging me in so many fast food menu items that are being released that you guys want me to try, but I recently just filmed one of those videos. So I was like, you know what? Why don't we switch it up a little bit, do the exact same thing, but let's do a fall edition. Fall and Halloween are just around the corner. So in today's video, we're gonna go to different from fast food places and we're going to be trying all their fall theme fast food menu items if you guys are excited for today's video make sure to drop a like subscribe and without any further ado let's go ahead and let's get started all right guys we're starting in the video with chick fil -A. no chick-fil-a sauce why did i do that sorry i don't know anyways these two drinks that i got smell amazing guys so we got the banana pudding milkshake banana frosted coffee now let me tell you what each drink is the milkshake is basically the chick-fil-a ice cream mixed with banana and vanilla wafers cookie crumbles topped off with whipped cream and a cherry then you have the frosted coffee which is also the chick-fil-a ice cream mixed with the cold brew also mixed with banana and a delicious vanilla wafer cookie crumble so let's go ahead and let's give these big boys a try let's start with the milkshake first because i'm like excited for the coffee so i'm like leaving the best for last at least i hope cheers shut up i love the banana pudding ice cream from bluebell it tastes very 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 similar to this the little crunch of the wafers is so good because it's creamy it tastes like banana and then it adds like that crunchiness Wow, we're starting the video so strong. I literally cannot stop eating this. Like, I cannot. Mm. I don't think I have ever liked a Chick-fil-A milkshake like that one. Guys, I'm not even over-exaggerating. That is so freaking good. You have to love banana, though. Like, if you really love banana pudding, don't walk. Speed walk. Run to Chick-fil-A because that is so, so good. Now, let's try the coffee. This is basically the same thing, except it has some cold brew in here. It's so hard to get any of this with a straw because it's so thick. Ooh. See, with the coffee, it's good. But did you see how there wasn't really a reaction here? Because nope. it's good. Like, it's all right, but it's not like, pfft, like the banana milkshake. I just don't think that the banana flavor belongs with the cold brew. And aftertaste, at the end, you get like a little burnt aftertaste. Obviously, that's because of like the cold brew. I just don't really think those two flavors belong together. I'm going to rate this. A 4 out of 10. The banana milkshake. Oh, baby. <laughs> We're going to give this a 10 out of 10 because this was so good. Lucky, lucky, lucky. It's crumble cookie. Crumble cookie for life. Crumble cookie. Bruh. Sorry, but every single time that I am gonna eat crumble like automatically that song plays in my head Like I don't know why please <laughs> Somebody get it out of my head. But anyways, let me tell you what I got first things first We have a cake. This is the tres leches cake featuring biscoff So what this is is basically a classic tres leches cake topped with biscoff cookie butter fresh whipped cream And basically just a drizzle of melted biscoff cookie butter And then we also have the ban offy ban oh. offy pie probably saying that wrong, but this is a chill buttery graham pie cookie with gooey caramel swirled banana buttercream whipped cream peaks and a sprinkle of dark chocolate shavings which one do i start off with first i think we're gonna go in with the ban oofy pie i think i'm saying that wrong i really think i'm saying that wrong but anyways let's just try it here's a better close-up of the pie it's not a cookie apparently now it's a pie that looks so good we're gonna bite right here so i can get like a even bite of everything Oh my god, there's someone in that car. Oh my god! When I parked here, there was no one in the car. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Anywho, this is bomb. Like, so good. When I was biting into it, I was like, oh my god. This right here is really hard, but it's the caramel. It is a chilled pie, so it's cold, but it's good. Like, it's good. I can taste the banana flavor. Definitely very gooey because of the caramel. 
the whipped cream was perfect just like a little refreshing with the whipped cream the pie crust is also very very good okay i actually really like that i can't picture myself finishing the entire pie because i feel like it'll get a little bit too overwhelming like three four bites maybe four bites max like you know i'll be like okay i'm kind of over it because it is a little bit on the sweet side okay did i rate that one i don't know if i rated it but i'm gonna rate that one 8 out of 10. Now let's try the Tres Leches cake. I've tried the Tres Leches cake from Crumble and surprisingly it's not bad. It's better from other places that I've tried before. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't like it. it. Definitely screams autumn fall but I just feel like it has a lot of the flavor of the Biscoff cookie and I know that's the point of it because obviously hello it's like Tres Leches cake with the Biscoff cookie but for someone that is really not a huge fan of Biscoff I'm gonna rate this one 6 out of 10 now that I tried this one and the chilled pie I'd rather go with the chilled pie than this one because I just feel like this one's a little bit too much for me if you guys have tried any of these crumble cookies of the week let me know which one is your favorite one do you just in general like crumble cookies or do you not because let me tell you something most of the time when I'm on TikTok I have more fun reading the comments than like watching the actual video and when it comes to crumble baby let me just tell you that the comments are always 50 50 people go heavy for crumble and then 50 percent are like why do y'all like crumble like do y'all know how many calories and sugar are in crumble like they're so bad i don't know why people like hype them up so comment down below i want to know your thoughts do you like crumble or do you not like crumble all right, guys, the next stop is Jack in the Box. They have two new items. They have the Witch Please Shake and then also the Mummy Wrapped Monster Taco. So let's go order. We have the taco and the shake. Let's go over the shake first. Let me tell you what is in the shake. So this is the Witch Please Shake. It's an Oreo shake mix with sweet ubi flavor topped with Oreo cookie pieces and whipped topping then we have the mummy wrapped monster taco it's a monster size monster size how big is it crispy taco topped with a melty american cheese shredded lettuce and taco sauce <sniffs> mummy wrapped in a cheesy bacon stuffed warm flour tortilla that sounds delicioso let's try this shake she is looking thick Ooh, look at that the oreo on top i'm excited for this oh my god whoa this is so good the ube flavor is really there you can actually taste it it's also very chocolatey because of the oreo it has a little piece of oreo in here it's very creamy i'm honestly so shocked right now guys because this is like so so good i give this a 10 out of 10 let's try this taco i did get some taco sauce on the side let's see how big is this taco okay i want to see love the packaging very cute very aesthetic oh the cheese is not fully melted which i kind of don't like oh oh why does it look like someone took a bite of my taco but right, let's go ahead and let's give it a try Bruh. They gave me the wrong taco. So I'm going back and telling, telling them they gave me the wrong taco. They gave me a plain taco instead of the mummy taco. How did I not notice? Five minutes later. I'm back. Also, I can't believe you didn't tell me like, Peter, that is the wrong taco. I'm over here taking a bite and then I'm like, hmm, hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Obviously, I have the wrong taco, but she was super nice about it. And she was like, I made sure that you got the right taco this time. I gave her the other one back because I mean... I wanted this one, of course. Ooh, okay, now this. This is a big monster. This is what we're talking about. The flour tortilla, it, it's giving stale vibes. Hello, is anybody home? It's a little bit hard, but this is the right taco. There's cheese in here. I don't know if you can see, but there's bacon in there. Then the regular taco. It's a little bit messy, but let's go ahead and let's give it a try. I love jack-in-the-box tacos. I feel like this one is also good. I just feel like the flour tortilla is a little bit too hard, too stale. But I do like the flavor that the extra cheese and the bacon adds to the regular taco. Overall, I'm going to rate the taco 7 out of 10. If the tortilla was a little bit more soft, automatically it would be a 9 out of 10. But just like this, 7 out of 10. All right, guys, I placed a huge order at Dunkin' to try their entire, not their entire, but most of the fall menu items. So I got a total of seven items, three drinks, four food, I four food items. Ugh, apparently, I can't talk. Have a nice day. Thank you, too. 
So we have three drinks, three, actually four, four food items with this one right here. So I have an almond spice iced coffee, pumpkin donut, pumpkin muffin, nutty pumpkin iced coffee, banana chocolate chip bread, apple cider donut, and a pumpkin cold brew with sweet cream cold foam. Let's try this one first. This one right here is the pumpkin cold foam. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good. I can actually taste the cold brew, like the coffee flavor, but it's sweet. I get hints of pumpkin in there. This is giving fall. So good. If you like your coffee to be really sweet, you might not like this. If you like your coffee to actually taste like coffee, like a little bit bitter, strong, then this one's definitely for you. I'm going to rate this one 8 out of 10. I actually really like that one. Now let's try the almond spice iced coffee. I have no idea what almond spice should even taste like, so we shall see. Let's try it. Ugh. Number one, it is extremely sweet, like extremely sweet. I get that it's like fall flavor but this is too much for me like it tastes like an artificial apple and cinnamon candle i mean i've never tried one but i've smelled one and like the smell with the taste like you know you know what i mean also it's extremely sweet so i'm just gonna say this is a no for me i'm gonna rate this drink like a three out of ten let's go in this right here is the nutty pumpkin iced coffee nutty pumpkin okay i have a feeling i might like this one a little bit better than this one right here also the color is looking a lot better than the almond spice Nope. No, this one's giving watered down gas station coffee. I'm going to rate that one a 1 out of 10. Anywho, let's try the banana chocolate chip bread. I thought this one was going to be warm, but it still looks pretty good. Look at this. Look at all the chocolate chips. I'm going to cut it in half. It looks pretty soft. Let's try it. Mmm. That's good. Okay, this one was $3.29. It's not warm, but it's still very good. I'm very soft. I give this a 9 out of 10. Let's go in with the donuts, shall we? I also have a pumpkin muffin, but we're going to leave that towards the very end. So we have, let me see, apple cider donut and also a pumpkin donut. Close up of the donuts. See, this pumpkin donut is like falling apart. It smells so good. I'm going right in with this one. Mmm. Okay. I like the pumpkin donut. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin donut is so good. Apple cider donut looks the same, except a little bit more different. Look at the inside. It looks so soft. Cheers. 10 out of 10. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 10 out of 10. Oh my God. This literally screams fall without being too much or too overwhelming. Last but not least, let's go in with the pumpkin muffin. Look at that. I'm going to cut a piece from here so we can really get in there and see what does the muffin look like in the center. Ooh, it's definitely giving pumpkin vibes. That is amazing. Mm-hmm. I take it back. The first bite was amazing. Second and third bite, mmm, mmm. There's a aftertaste flavor to it. I'm going to rate that one a four out of ten. So my top favorites for Dunkin' was definitely the pumpkin cold brew with the sweet cream cold foam, and then also the banana chocolate chip bread, the pumpkin donut, and the apple cider donut. Those were like my favorite ones. All right, guys, we arrived to Dairy Queen because they have an entire fall menu for their blizzards. So let's order. Let's try the mini blizzards. So we have pumpkin pie, salted caramel truffle, and caramel java chip. Let me try to figure out which one is which. This one right here is going to be the salted caramel, I'm assuming. Let me give you a close-up. Let's try it. A little bit too chocolatey for my liking, but y'all know that I'm not a huge chocolate lover, so that's why. But if you love caramel, like sweet and salty and crunchy and chocolatey, mm, you're going to like that one. Let's do this one right here. This should be the caramel java chip. Mm, mm. This tastes like coffee ice cream flavor. Wow. Mm. It tastes like a caramel macchiato. I'm going to rate this one right here. 9 out of 10. 
I really was thinking about it, but it's a nine. It deserves a nine. First one that we tried, which was the salted caramel truffle. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. But again, if you do like sweet and salty caramel with chocolate, you're gonna like it. I'm gonna rate the salted caramel truffle a four out of 10. Let's go right in with pumpkin pie. Let me give you a close up of pumpkin pie. Let's try it. Mmm, it has like pieces of the pumpkin pie crust in here. It's good, but it's not my favorite. I know what I don't like. I don't like the pieces of the pie crust because they taste too much like fried oil. But the ice cream itself, like the pumpkin blizzard ice cream itself, it's so good because it tastes like pumpkin, but it's not too overwhelming. Like it's not too pumpkin-y. The creaminess of the whipped cream, it goes really well with the pumpkin ice cream. But overall, I'm gonna rate it a seven out of 10. Definitely my favorite one, like my top two favorite will be these two, the pumpkin one, and then also the caramel java chip. These are so good. All right, guys, our last stop was McDonald's. So I got a pumpkin and cream pie. I also got a caramel sundae because shut up, what? I had no idea that you can get a caramel sundae. I was always under the impression that it was only a chocolate sundae or you can also get a McFlurry, but never knew you can get a caramel sundae. So I got that and then also have to be honest, after all those Dairy Queen mini blizzards, I was so thirsty, so I got a luggy, luggy, luggy. It's Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper for life. Dr. Pepper. Ah. Anywho, with the Dr. Pepper, it's not part of the fall theme of the video. So let's get to the pumpkin and cream pie. Let's get into it. Have I ever tried the pumpkin and cream pie? I don't think I've ever tried the pumpkin and cream pie, guys, honestly. Ooh. <gasps> Let's cut it in half. Whoa. I love it. Mm -hmm. If it was just pumpkin filling in here, I probably wouldn't like it. But the cream with the pumpkin is so good. Look, you get hints of the pumpkin. It's creamy because of the cream, obviously. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's crunchy, soft, and flaky because of the crust. Mmm. I'm gonna rate the pie a 7 out of 10. Let's go in with this caramel sundae. I really hope that it's good and it's not too, too sweet or too caramelish, too gooey ooey because of the caramel. Okay, that looks like a perfect spoonful because there's a lot of ice cream and a little bit of caramel. Mmm. That's actually really good. For some reason right now, I just thought about getting some apple slices and dipping it in here and it would be so good. Mmm. Wow. I like this a lot better than the pumpkin and cream pie. I give the caramel sundae 8 out of 10. Comment down below if you guys knew that McDonald's had a caramel sundae because I had no idea. All right, guys, those were our last two fall menu items. I had so much fun filming today's video. I definitely tried a lot of food that I liked. I also had some that I wasn't a huge fan of, but you guys know that I love to film these types of videos. If you guys see any new fast food menu items that are being released, make sure to tag me on my Instagram or my TikTok at Makeup by Pita. And while you're at it, also make sure to follow me. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you guys can get notified every single time that i post a new video i love you guys so much and i'll see you on the next one peace yeah 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 Ay, coming in yeah flex i just wanna win